Okay, so I'm doing a rant. This is my third time doing it, but um, this little one got in trouble, so she's she's fussing, like crying right now. But um, I would just like to say that being a stay-at-home mom is not at all easy. Like, if you're working and you're also taking care of kids, like, props to you, man. Like, I don't know how you do it. I wouldn't be able to work and come home and clean and make dinner and just I wouldn't be able to do it like there's no way um but I just there's some days that you just throw the towel in and you're just like I'm not cleaning today and today was one of those days I tried to clean and Victoria just felt the need to get everything out that was clean and all her toys after I put like everything I put away Victoria just got back out and was just go into town with all the dirty and clean laundry and <sighs> like every time that I try to clean um, it's just like a I can't even think of a word but it just goes to sh like I just shouldn't even bother because everything just gets taken back out and the only thing that it's just I'm just so lost at words right now because I'm just so, like, I'm just so tired and I'm so frustrated and there's just so many things that we need to get done in the house. And with a toddler, with just one toddler, it's hard. But with, I can't even imagine us having more than one kid and people are like, oh, you have it easy because you just have one kid. No. It's, it's just as hard. Being a parent with one little thing, baby is just as hard. And... You know? Baby. Baby. I mean, good for you if your life is so easy with all these kids and stuff. I don't care about your life. This is my life. You know, I'm at home with a baby. Oh, I'm at home with her 12 hours a day, three to four times a week. Baby. And I'm expected to cook, clean, do all the other housewife duties. And I just get tired of it. I would like a break. And my husband is like, oh, you don't think I want to break too? Well, you get to go sit at a desk and call people and not have to chase a toddler around. Like, yeah, you have to work, but your job is way less demanding and physically demanding than mine is. I don't get to sit down. And then when I do get to sit down, I'm either peeing or I'm eating and sometimes I'm not eating. I'm feeding her. I don't take a shower every day. I don't get to take showers every day because I just don't. I have other things to do instead of take showers, like do laundry, get dinner ready, plan our meal for the next week. I mean, it's just, I'm exhausted. And I understand, like, that's the life of a stay-at-home mom, but I, I can vent, and I can rant, and I can say I'm how exhausted and tired I am of it. I don't regret being a mom, and I don't regret staying home, but it's exhausting. Like, there's no way that I could work and take and come home and take care of her. There's no way. But this is the life that I live, and like I said, if you work and you have kids and you have more than one kid, good for you. I don't care about your life. This is my life. And I'm allowed to vent about my life. Um, and, I mean, I just don't see the point in cleaning because who comes over anyways? Like, nobody ever comes over our house. We always go out to other people's houses. And when we do, it literally takes five minutes to clean. But that's with Dan and I both cleaning. I can't do anything by myself with her because she is hugged to my hip all the time. Like right now, like look at the, look at the mess. Just look at her. She's she's wild. She's a wild kid, and my postpartum hair is growing back. So this is what this is. It's it's awkward right now. I feel like a puberty or something. Like, but I'm just exhausted, and staying at home with a toddler is very exhausting. And I love my yeah. life every day, but it's. Oh dear. It is exhausting. And I just had to vent on that. 